Hello, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm going to vlog a little bit. Today is February, I oh wait, no. It's January 7th. I'm way ahead of uh, schedule. I had a pretty crazy week last week, so now I'm getting back into the gym and I'm really excited because I'm getting back in my routine and everything like that. So yeah, I'm gonna go to the gym later today. But first I have to go to the eye doctor to get new glasses. Um, so I'm just gonna take you along with my day. And I'm also going to the gym today with Peyton, which is his uh, Instagram and like social media tags, not that big. I'm hitting back in, well, I'm hitting back in bites today. I wanna make sure I get back on my split too. Um, he has bench and back accessories, so. I hit push yesterday though, and I'm very sore, so I definitely will not bench again today. But uh, yeah, let's let's get to it. This is my outfit. Um, yeah, you'll never see me not wearing sweatpants unless I'm at the gym. And even the, I'll still wear sweatpants at the gym though, but that's just like the comfiest thing to wear. But I am wearing TLF top and bottoms. I think this is the Genesis collection, and then this is Tempo. Um, but yeah, I on I feel like I look put together for once, so I'm back from the eye doctors. I'm with my mom. Hi mom. Alright. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I didn't get new glasses because it wasn't worth the money like the prescription barely changed and I did not like notice a difference So we're gonna keep these save money because that was my New Year's resolution uh, To budget better now we decide we're going to Ulta because I need to get something and then Target I'm here right now, and I'm looking for a face primer but This is the one I wanted to try because I wanted something cheaper, but not sold in stores or online. So I've never heard anyone trying this, so I might just go back to the old primer that I use. You can look up skin ingredient checker on Google, and then I think this is the first link I use. Yeah, and you can like copy and paste ingredients from like the websites because every skincare thing is going to tell you the ingredients and it'll tell you like the good and the bad. I'll just click this one for example. Yeah, it shows like the um the highlights and then like good well this one's really good but it'll show like red when they're bad yeah i thought that was really cool so i'm gonna rush now because i have to be in the gym in 30 minutes but it takes me forever to get ready so i was thinking since it's pulled out obviously i have to make sure you can see the back gain so i think i'm gonna wear the woman's best sports bra i like cut the um back though so now it's a holder top so cute and then, I don't know for bottoms, figure that out. This is what I'm working with today. Ew, don't look at me, I don't have pump, but yeah. Gonna wear this and then these shorts and call it a day and let's freaking go. This is why I'm women's best top and then women's best uh, sports bra. This is my first time wearing this like pump cover jacket. I kind of like it. It low-key suffocates my armpits a little bit, but maybe I just need to like break it in. These are shorts from Adore Athletics. Uh, they're amazing. And then finally wearing my blazers today, so. Okay, oh my gosh. I swear, this is the last time I'm changing. But now I'm in my, my grout fit, because I forgot it's, it's really cold outside today, so that's what I'm working with. I'm making my pre-workout stack right now. Uh, I had a lot. I didn't actually have that much caffeine yesterday. But I had enough to the point where, you know, I thought I could handle doing push and legs in one whole session, which was a big mistake for me. So I'm taking Gym Flow's Overcome. Um, I don't like taking caffeine every single day because I don't want to rely on it. So this is really good because it hydrates me helps with my recovery and it has the ingredient beta alanine in it makes me feel like I like I'm on caffeine so this is just my substitute um 
when I don't want to take caffeine. I'm really contemplating about doing creatine again. I took this one brand of creatine, it was by Rise for a while, and I thought I was getting a lot of nausea from it. Um, and so I stopped. So I might try it again just to make sure that's what the issue is. I have to leave in five minutes. So let me finish my lunch really quick and then I'm gonna be on the road. So I just warmed up and I did my pull-ups, like negative pull-ups, because I'm trying to do them unassisted more. And now I'm about to do bent over rows. I don't know what else I'm going to do. I'm kind of just doing whatever until Peyton's done with his um, benching program and like the chest kind of stuff. And then we're finishing with back accessories together. So I'm kind of just having fun doing whatever. So. It was like really cheap too. Okay, guys, now um, we're finally doing back. Um, we're trying out this, one of their new machines. And by the way, this is Peyton. What's up guys? He's not that big. Okay, you can, guys. or I'll put his socials down below in the description box. But. When you say it like just casually in conversation, it always <laughs> sounds like, yeah, he's not that big. Like he's pretty like. Oh yeah, I know. It's, it doesn't help too. I also have a monotone voice and people are always like, you sound like you just hate everything that you're saying all the time. Yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna start recording it and we'll get to it. Do you want it recorded like this or do you want me to like do like almost like b-roll shots for you. Oh yeah, you can do that. Yeah, if That's you don't. Cool. Is it already recording? Yeah. Okay. Yo, that 10 pound felt low key heavy. Really? Ah, shit. I didn't sleep well last night. I feel so drained out. Damn. I might just do the bar by itself. Word. Keep Wait, going. On the left side? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Oh, God. How was it? That felt really good, actually. Yeah? It you definitely, definitely, you can like see everything. Like all the striations, all the yeah. muscle, like it, it's definitely, like from the the back, like the lighting is nice as fuck too. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't have, or I've never been to a gym that has that machine. That's why I like stepped away from it for so long. Yeah, it's a, uh, so this is an arsenal strength chest supported row with, it's got adjustable foot pedestal, which is really nice for uh, height differences. Yeah. <laughs> and then JPEG coaching probably loves this one, but it's got the D handles and you can adjust the width and it adjusts as you pull through. Yeah. And it's plate loaded. So honestly, a really fucking great machine. Two second pull goes hard. 
Okay, I'm currently on my other camera, but this one's about to die too. Uh, I just did a little bit of dumbbell rows. I'm just, I'm very pissed off that both of them are dying, so I don't have anything to take photos with. But I'll probably now transfer over to my phone and then save as much battery as I can on this for actual photos at the end of the workout. Phone is superior. It is. It's really good. It's too convenient. I just, yeah. That's so all it I is. Do. But I have like 5,000 photos and videos on my phone, so. Yeah, you can buy that. Like upgraded storage. <laughs> I know. So I'm back home now. I honestly forgot to film an outro. Um, I didn't record too, too much at the gym, to be honest. Not as much as I wanted to, but I was so intimidated talking like in front of public again, but I'm still working on that. Peyton recorded a lot more of us at the gym, so definitely go check out his video on his channel. His will be a lot better than this, but yeah, thank y'all so much for watching. Uh, subscribe and I'll see y'all in my next video.